everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're back. Um, today, I want to show you the five-week challenge so far. Um, we're doing a collage challenge over at the, I'm a little tongue-tied here, over at the Boho Daydreams Facebook group. So we're not so far ahead that you can't jump in and join us. Um, we don't do any prompts ahead of time. They get put up weekly, so nobody can, you know, jump ahead, which is great. And that way, too, if you fall behind, you can still hopefully catch up. Um, so this is the book that I'm using, and I'll show you that in a minute. But before I get into that, I want to give out an invitation uh, me and a friend of mine, Annette, you've heard me talk about her before, we host a um, creative crafters retreat once a year. And it is um, a lot of fun. We have all different kinds of folks that come. Um, of course, there are the junk journalers, art journalers, there are scrapbookers. Um, I have played with clay. Um, just all kinds of stuff we do um, I just had a thought and I was gonna say something else oh I know one time I even brought I had a lot of metal dies and I um, someone that I know had this great system and I wanted to kind of mimic it so I bought everything and that was one of the things I worked on for a couple of days was to get all of my metal dies organized in that system so really anything goes this retreat house has a swimming pool. It sits right on the lake. Um, to me, it's, it's great. Um, we do, I asked for an extra day. So there's one day where we're kind of on our own for food and stuff, but it's never a problem. And uh, so it's five days, and here you go, I've written it down. It's five days this year, August the 1st to August the 6th. And you do what you want to do. I mean, if you know, if you want to sleep these days away, that's up to you. If you want to take a walk, um, you want to sit out by the pool, or you want to sit up on the porch, um, you know, you need some reading time, some devotional time. It, it's 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 easy. Um, you can do what you want to do. Um, but it is about creating. It is about the fellowship with like-minded people. And I'm going to tell you, we have people that come from Texas, Missouri, Mississippi, of course, Alabama and Georgia. I'm Georgia. Um, we've had Ohio. I have Michigan. I have Indiana, North Carolina, South Carolina, and we had someone from Florida. So, I mean, and, and one year we even had someone from the West Coast. Um, so it, it is, it's fun. Trust me. Um, so if you're interested, oh, and here I, I wrote down to the name of the town. It's Gadsden, Alabama um, is where the retreat is held. So if you're interested, whether it's this year or sometime in the future, perhaps, um, at this point in time, I only do it once a year. I put a lot into it. Um, we have door prizes and, you know, we do some activities and stuff. And, and um, again, it's more about the creativity and the fellowship than anything but it's nice and it's nice to have it all inclusive right there where we are and um you know comfortable beds and everything so again i want to invite you um down below you will see either my email or you can um connect with me on my 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 private facebook page um through messenger that'll be fine too um and i can get back to you I never know at any given time how many people that have paid their deposits. Um, so closer I get, I, you know, I usually know more. I do have deadlines for um, payment. And if that falls through, then I know how many openings I have. So let me put that away. But please consider, you know, reaching out to me if you would be interested in traveling to Gadsden, Alabama. All right, here we go. Um, my little notebook, one thing that I have done um, is I have just done some scrapbook paper on the cover, both inside and outside, and then I have a different paper on the back side, um, which 
this back cover is kind of getting warped. I don't understand. <laughs> um, but anyhow, so that's all the farther I've gotten on decorating the covers. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the first page yet. Some kind of introduction. It'll come to me in the middle of the night like everything else does. All right, and then if you remember, I did show where I was going to do my prompts in the back of the journal. Um, so this is them, and I could pop this out, but I'm not going to right now. I'll just flip back and forth. But our first week, it was you needed to use a quote, an owl, an angel, and then the um, plus item was wrapping paper. So here is mine. There is my quote, my angel, my owl, and the whole background is blue wrapping paper. And my quote is, an owl is the wisest of all the birds because the more it sees, the less it talks. And for some reason, during that week, that quote hit me. <laughs> so anyhow, so that was week one. Week two, we had to do wings, circles, eyes, and Van Gogh was our extra. And I had been to the Van Gogh immersion in Atlanta. So this is his starry nights. So that was my background. I cheated. Those were my circles. The wings was his butterfly, Van Gogh's butterfly. And there's Van Gogh. And then I don't know, I saw this picture in the cat in a magazine and thought it was just different. So I put Van Gogh's head on her body. And there's, I only had one eye, I didn't do multiple. And what she's hiding, there's a bottle of perfume back there. People have kind of chuckled about the placement of my eye, but it's all about hiding the perfume and nothing else. <laughs> Um, and so anyway, so the next one is Funky House, The Sun, to use a book page, clock parts, and then your own handwriting, because, you know, most of us don't like our own handwriting. Um, so here is my Funky House. My house was probably more of a fun house than a funky house. Um, this is my clock parts. And then this is my son. This was out of um, a construction type magazine. This was a leather sample picture of a leather sample so it's my son my book page was the definition of sun and then my handwriting is truth is like the sun you can shut it out for a time but it ain't going away and that was Elvis Presley it ain't going away um, and then week four the prompts were to use a statue use a stencil numbers octopus and then three of anything so here is mine this one was kind of simple on my part um, the three things were octopus tentacles but there's my octopus um, they were a stencil but also I used a water stencil that I had here's my statue and then the numbers I turned them sideways and tried to make them look like fish but I might need to put a fin on the top of them too just thought about that <laughs> um, and then the next one was 4b not quite sure what happened there but 4b was collaged animals so I had this stencil and it had all kinds of animal shapes in it I've had it a long time I think it was by stencil girl and um so I cut out just some of the critters and then I collaged them and then I cut out some or tore out some different greens for like the grass and then placed my critters around and I just I keep and try to use up everything um, so I had some old clumpy paint and that's why it's kind of all swirly and, and funky and then I just um, collaged in a Sun with my funky animals um, yeah I like using the old paint I'm gonna tell you a side story sometimes I'll put hot water in the bottles and that's how I'll dip my paper um, to make like blue paper or whatever I'll just use old paint and when you add that boiling water to those clumps for the most part they dissolve and so you're not wasting your old paint you're actually getting something out of it so then the one for this week was anything goes and before I turn this page I'm gonna tell you something when you go to do the back side of this because I'm continuing on this in the same journal make sure your page is the right side yep I've done it before and I did it again I had this window right when I made the window because I remember my napkin collage was bigger at the top than it was at the bottom I remember that but somehow in there 
I turned it around, and my tree is upside down, my house is upside down, the pine's not so bad, but those two got me. So when I realized it, I said, okay, Elaine. So I went, and I have this stamp of a dog, and I put him in the window. So at least he's right side up, and he's saying, what in the world, Elaine? And then this was a napkin I had. And I don't know, um, when we do the retreats, we get all kinds of stuff. You know, we all share things and we get all kinds of stuff. And sometimes you just don't really have a place that you want to store it. So I keep this big basket of odds and ends. And I had some bling that someone had given in these little packs. And so I just pulled out some of it. Um, I use this big basket for my odds and ends, and that's usually my go-to first to see if there's anything in there that I want to use up. Um, and then, on the, and I don't know if you can see it or not, but on the um, jar, I use the product um, from Mod Podge, and it's Extreme Glitter. Now, Extreme Glitter is nothing new. It's been around for a while, came in these little jars. Um, I used to do a painting class with Sandy McTeer, if ever, anybody knows her. She's kind of a local gal, but now is like world famous. But she's the one that introduced me to Extreme Glitter, and I've always enjoyed it. Well, Mod Podge now has done, I think it's the, and I think they did a holographic one. That's the ones that come in the big bottles now. And so I did do that. But anyhow, so that's up to week five of my, um, process and come and join us like i said it's boho daydreams on facebook got to ask answer a couple questions to be able to join the group and uh, we'd love to have you and for love for you to join the event every week um she does put up um, it's randy she puts up a new um you know kind of event every week so you can say whether you're going or not and then that's where you post your picture and then you post it in the group too so anyhow, that's me, and um, I would like you to consider about the retreat. Come and join us. Um, I can, if nothing else, put you on the wait list or put you on the list for maybe next year. And remember, I do a video every Tuesday evening, hopefully 6 p.m. Eastern Time. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can find me on Facebook. I have a group, a page, and, of course, my own five private Facebook. And why can't I say that today? I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. I have a small Etsy shop called Lark and Lane Creations, and um, go check it out. It's not a whole lot in there, but there might be something that you're interested in. And that's it. So I appreciate you coming by, and I will catch you going down the road. See you next time. Bye.